All right, good morning, everybody. Not as hard as some, not as easy as others. Batten down the hatches and get ready for Math Lesson 43, which is more arithmetic with mixed numbers. Now, it's a pretty easy concept, but kind of a mixed bag due to what exactly is arithmetic. That's basically thinking all the operations of math. Maybe problems from the lesson is about adding. Maybe some of them are going to be about subtracting. Maybe even we might get some with dividing. Fortunately, you are cleared from multiplying because that's a whole lesson onto itself. So a quick little review here because I still have some people look at me blankly when I say write the answer as a mixed number. That is whole numbers and fractions, like one and a half, or five and three-fourths. A whole number and a fraction. So let's get right down to it. A lot of the stuff from today is going to be story problems. It's going to be thinkers. You're going to have to read and get the picture going in your mind. Three classes get to share 14 pizzas for a pizza party. How many pizzas do each class get? What type of arithmetic are we going to be utilizing in this problem? Adding, subtracting, or dividing? I think your clue word here is share. Anytime you are trying to share something, you're talking about dividing it. You have 14 whole pizzas and you have three classrooms, right? So let's go ahead and start dividing this, making our piece with division. Where are we going to start dividing? I don't think it's going to fit into one. You're going to have to go all the way into 14, right? Sounds like it goes in there four whole times. Multiplies back for 12. It's going to subtract for 2. Now, remember, this was all about arithmetic with mixed numbers. You ever heard of a class getting 4 remainder 2 pizzas? That makes no sense at all. If you have something real and tangible in a story problem, they expect you to be able to write the answer as a mixed number. Remember to do that. Your remainder is your numerator. Your divisor is your denominator. You have four and two-thirds of a pizza go into each class. Check out this one. Maria used seven cups of flour to make three loaves of bread. Seven cups to make three loaves. How many cups of flour does she need to make just one loaf of bread? Is this going to be an adding problem, a subtracting problem, or a dividing problem? I'm hoping you guessed correctly. This again is a dividing problem. If you need seven cups... To make three loaves, all you have to do is divide those out and you'll find out what it would be for just one. Three divides into seven two whole times. It multiplies back for six and you're going to subtract it out for one. There is no such thing as two remainder one cups of flour. You have one left over. So that's your numerator. You are dividing by 3. That is your divisor. So it's also your denominator. 2 and 1 third cups to make just one loaf of bread. A circle is 100%. If the circle is cut into sixths, each sixth would be what percent of a circle? Again, are we adding, subtracting, or dividing? I'm hoping you pick dividing again. We are dividing 
the 100%, and we're dividing it out six times because they're talking about one-sixth, right? So let's set it up 100% divided by six. Six divides into 10 one whole time, right? Multiplies back for six. It's going to subtract for four. And I'm going to bring down that next zero because I don't have a quotient number on top of them, right? Just bring it straight down and we're going to go into round two of dividing. This time, 40 divided by six. It's going to go in there six times. Multiply that back for 36, subtract that out for 4. Nobody's ever heard of 16 remainder 4%. Remember again, the remainder is your numerator. That's 4. Your divisor of 6 is also your denominator, 16 and four sixths percent. A recipe calls for five cups of flour and a half cup of milk. What is the sum of these ingredients? What type of arithmetic are we doing here? Did you catch the clue word? I'm sure hoping you did because it's all about this word right here. The sum, that means we are going to go and add these ingredients. Five cups of flour and a half cup of milk. Boy, how tough is that to do in our head? That sounds like five and a half cups is the total sum. Jerry bought three and a half pounds of grapes, used two pounds to make a salad. How many pounds of grapes does she have left? She started with three and a half, and she used two. Do you think you have it? Are we adding, subtracting, or dividing this time? I'm hoping you know that this is a subtraction problem, and we're going to have one and a half cups left, because three and a half minus two that's going to give you one and a half, right? And I wanted to talk just a little bit about this because I'm seeing some people do some wonky things. Six and a half minus three and a half. So if you're starting off with six and a half and you're taking away three and a half, what's actually left? You would not call that zero halves, would you? You only have three left. Nothing is the same as zero. Don't go and write a fraction with the numerator of zero. Then just tend to your whole number side. Six minus three, hey, yeah, that's three. Just like we saw in the picture. And the last one here, if you are gonna try to add three and a half plus three and a half. Don't go and call it two halves. Two halves really doesn't belong on the fraction side of the equation because if you had two halves and you put it together, you really made one more whole, right? So a half plus a half is two halves you want to put your one whole, your two halves, over on this side. One plus three plus three, hey, that's seven, right? All right, that is officially the end. Even though it was easier than yesterday, I still highly recommend a scratch piece of paper for the Socrative quiz, and good luck.